College Chandigarh in collaboration with the Institute Innovation Council. IPR plays a significant role in the economic development of a country by disseminating and protecting innovations, ideas, and inventions. Today's workshop will surely help to upskill the knowledge of our students. On behalf of chemistry department, I, Dr. Mamta Sharma, would like to cordially welcome our distinguished speaker, Dr. Girish Sahani, Dean Sciences, Dr. Sajeev Soni, our second speaker, Dr. Anand Sharma, my fellow colleagues and dear students. Without much further ado, I take the privilege to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Girish Sahani. Dr. Sahani is an alumnus of Punjab University. He was awarded his PhD degree from IISC Bangalore. Thereafter, he completed his postdoc assignments from University of California, Rockefeller University, New York, and Albert Einstein College of Medicine, New York, USA. Back in India, he started his journey as Senior Research Associate from Imtech Chandigarh and became Director Imtech in 2005. In 2015, he assumed the office of Director General CSIR and superannuated from there. Presently, Dr. Sahani is Chairman of the Board of Governors at Naipur Mohali. Dr. Sahani is internationally recognized for his research contributions. He has been the author of several papers published in high impact refereed scientific journals and has a number of national and international patents to his credit. Dr. Sahani has contributed in the area of protein cardiovascular drugs, especially clot busters and their mode of action in the human body. He has successfully commercialized the drug streptokinase through the pharma company Shazam Pharma, which became part of Stripes Ecrolab. He is fellow Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi, Indian Academy of Science, Bangalore, and Association of Microbiologists of India, to name a few. Dr. Sahani has received many awards for his contribution in science, namely National Biotechnology Product Development Award 2002, CSI Technology Sheet 2001-2002, the Vastwick Industrial Award 2000, Ranbaxy Award in Pharmaceutical Sciences 2003, Vigyan Ratan Award 2014, and CSI Technology Award for Business Development and Technology Marketing in 2014. Sir, we are extremely honored to have you as a keynote speaker here today, and we are waiting to hear you. So I take the privilege to invite you to the dais for your address. Good morning. It's wonderful to be in this room, which is full of energy, young people. I, first of all, thank the organizers of this symposium, um, Dr. Mayer and my esteemed friends, Dr. Sony and Dr. Sharma, other faculty members of this department and other departments at like Zoom, and the bright, young, energetic students. See, when we talk about patents and NPR, it looks like a very heavy topic, worthy of spending many years in the legal profession, in the scientific, scientific profession, and then becoming an expert on video. That is true. But an average scientist who either teaches students or carries out research or is part of a company or a big institution, research institution, has to be aware that patents are legal documents which give you the right to not allow other people to use the, inv the invention that you have patented. So it is a kind of a negative right, negative power. How do you convert a negative power into a positive power? <clears throat> By using that technology for public good. See, if you, when I was coming here, I was marveling at the GPS technology that we have. Okay. And I was thinking, how does GPS actually predict the exact time? And in my case, when I came from my home to this place in the morning, it had predicted 33 minutes. 
and it was exactly 33 kilometers. Okay, this is marvelous. It, it does not know what speed you will be moving at, what your driver's nature is. Okay, that is a very big non input. But it knows what is the average rate of traffic, distance, etc. etc. So, all this information has been used by a company, not Indian. You know, GPS is not Indian technology. It arose out of technology that was warfare technology, very high level of warfare technology, which at some stage was made public. I'm sure there are a lot of patents around it. Many patents might have expired. So if you do a patent search around GPS, you will see not only original patents, which would have expired, but also current patents. So if you have a very wide type of technology, GPS, which includes telecommunication, artificial intelligence, and so many things, satellite to communication to individual, so many things, you will find that if you have a very critical patent, not necessarily the breakthrough patent, but small little patent on a critical piece of that overall scenario, you can actually get royalty on it. Pure royalty. That is not value creation. Value creation came from original patents. But the application of those patents and technology and making it effective allows you to do research which is very focused. Suppose you have write a program which actually bypasses a lot of the things that are currently using and being used. And all of a sudden, that patent will become very valuable. So this is the value. Tomorrow, as scientists, you may become journalists, you may become researchers, you may become teachers. But realize that patents is one aspect by which you can get the benefit of science and technology for a company, for society. Suppose I make something which is very useful for thousands of people. Okay, I make a nutritive aid which you put in crops. And the crop yield becomes 30% more. Let us assume that. Wonderful thing comes out of science or experiments. Would you want a patent so that anybody who makes that will give you royalty? That is one aspect. That is a that is that aspect which makes you which makes you get the profit. But if you make that technology available to all the farmers, the value that will be created, 30% increase in agricultural output will be tremendous. So look at patents from two points of view. Sometimes patents are good, sometimes patents are not good. Be aware that patents give you a right. But suppose you have 500 cars and you make it available for, say, hospitals, the same patent becomes the same patent of the same technology becomes useful for everybody. So this distinction in our mind has to be there. The patents are restricted, but the absence of patents also sometimes creates lack of opportunities because if you have to if you have a patent you have spent money on it if a company takes that patent you have spent money on it to make the technology available so the absence of a patent will be a deterrent for many people to not take the technology and commercialize is this point clear what is a complex point there it take patents can be looked at like a toy it can be looked from both sides profit but also value so in this context I will speak in the next 10, 15, 20 minutes and maybe take you through some interesting aspect of my career also. Because unless you have a picture So point of view, I will See, for example, thousands of hundreds of maybe a couple of thousand years ago, I don't know the exact date. India was a leader in medical science. This is not a this is not mythology, this is reality. You know, very, very advanced instruments for surgery, for example, which people use today in the Western world, they are supposed to be discovered. Many of these instruments were known at that time. So India had a culture, had a civilization which was very advanced. For its time. Of course, now with slavery and foreign dominance, etc., we have become 
but we are now insurgent. You people are sign of this insurgent country. All these people who are sitting there, predominantly girls, is a great sign that our future is bright. <clears throat> so, did these people who invented many of these things, Ayurveda, surgery, etc., did they have patents? Of course not. वो कल्चर नहीं था कि हमें कुछ आता है तो पैसे बना दो इसमें अच्छाई भी है बुराई भी है एनीवे मेक योर ओन अगेन फॉर मेटल एनर्जी इंडिया वाज अ ग्रेट की व्हेन यू से समुराई स्पोर्ट्स ऑफ जापानीज टू अस सपोज्ड टू बी वेरी वेरी स्पेशल स्टील ऑल केम फ्रॉम इंडिया मोस्टली चाइना जापान मेनी ऑफ दिस कंट्रीज द मेटल एनर्जी केम फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस अ वी कैन बी प्राउड ऑफ इट But we have to also see how can we become superior now? Can we rejuvenate this? Can we start innovation? This was all came out of innovation from trial experiments. See what is the magic combination of metals that will give you strength? What is the magic combination of compound that will give you rust? Okay, this all comes from laboratory type of work. No? So did they have this type of laboratories? No, but they had a mind, curious mind, observation, experimentation. And passing on that knowledge to next generation. These elements we have now today. We have knowledge. We have good teachers. We have laboratories. We have access to Western science. Can we utilize this knowledge to create new things? That is innovation. But if you look around this country, around you, everything that you see, which is technology oriented, is has come from outside. This is something which is a little sad, but it has to be. ये जो आपकी बसें चल रही है हवाई जहाज चल रहे हैं रॉकेट उड़ रहे हैं वगैरह 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 ये कहां से आए दीज आर ऑल नॉट फ्रॉम रिसर्च इन इंडिया ओके सो वॉट इज दे होम लेसन वेदर टेक्नोलॉजी इंडियन और ग्रीक और अमेरिकन जीपीएस इज अमेरिकन लेटर से स्टिल बी यूज इट सो टेक्नोलॉजी कैन नॉट बी स्टॉप इफ इट इज यूजफुल इट विल बी डिसमेड इफ यू है यू कैन मेक प्रॉफिट ऑफ Even if you don't have a patent, if you use technology whose development costs are not exorbitant, you can make it free for people. Suppose you have a technology in China, for example, they are the manufacturer hub of the of the world today. Is it all covered in patents? No, they got the technology from America. America gave the technology because they could get products at cheaper prices. And China became smart. China is now the producer. Within twenty years to twenty five years. From a primitive country, sort of like us, politically also in turbulence, they became the manufacturing hub of the world. Is the manufacturing against patents? No, more than ninety percent is not against patents. Now they are getting patents. So let us see patents in the proper place in which in our mind. Patents are important. They can be a hindrance. They can give you profit, but they are not the only building block of technology and value. innovation is and taking innovation to its proper logical conclusion through commercial innovation <clears throat> green revolution you know all of you know what was green revolution we got varieties and we got we became self sufficient in food by and large grains great did it come from patents no it did not come from patents but the technology was brought here upscaled in this country now i want students to प्लीज कंसेंट्रेट ऑन दिस वर्ल्ड अप स्केलिंग अगर आपकी मम्मी आपके घर में बहुत अच्छा स्वादिष्ट खाना बनाती है और सब आप कहते हो कि खाना बहुत अच्छा है तो कैन यू स्टार्ट अ रेस्टोरेंट ऑन इट बाय अप स्केलिंग डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन रेसिपी लोन डज नॉट डिपेंड ओनली ऑन स्किल ऑफ वन कुक लोन इट रिक्वायर्स अ कंप्लीट बिजनेस प्लान इट रिक्वायर्स द इनपुट ऑफ सेवरल रिसोर्सेस Then the restaurant will work. Food will be okay. The restaurant is very good place. Still it fails. Seventy-five percent of restaurants fail within two three years. Why? Not as if food was bad. If food was bad, restaurant will shut down in three days. So think about it. Every technology at the stage of patent is like a recipe book. The recipe has to be transformed into value via upstream. And commercialization of technology. Is another game which in India we are not good at. There are a lot of impediments. I am giving a perspective. I am giving a perspective. I am giving a perspective. I am giving a recipe. 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 I am giving a rec
मैंने आपको रेसिपी दे दी आप समझ गए पहले क्या होता था पौधा इतना बड़ा हो जाता था अनाज में सो ऑल द न्यूट्रिटिव वैल्यू गोज इनटू प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सीड्स टू ब्रीडिंग नॉट जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग थ्रू ब्रीडिंग तो इट ब्रीड थ्रू बट इंडिया रिक्वायर्ड 10 टू 15 इयर्स टू इंप्लीमेंट इट इट रिक्वायर्ड पॉलिटिकल विल इट रिक्वायर्ड द डिसेमिनेशन ऑफ द सीड्स इन टू फील्ड ट्रायल्स एटसेट्रा एनीवे दैट इज अनदर स्टोरी यू शुड रीड इट समवेयर सो दिस जेंटलमैन एवरीबॉडी रेकॉग्नाइज He's supposed to be a great scientist. He taught things which not more than twenty, thirty people understood in his own time. <coughs> He says the intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. As scientists, we pride ourselves as being very rational. When knowledge is, very intelligent, so we think, question, we ask. तो जो आदमी जो बच्चा जो साइंटिस्ट ये नया तरह का प्रश्न पूछता है वहां से स्टोरी शुरू होती है वहीं से पेटर्न बनते हैं वहीं से टेक्नोलॉजी बनाने के लिए और कुछ तो रेसिपी बन रुक जाएगी गाड़ी और रेसिपी बनाना नहीं कौन सी आसान काम है बिकॉज दैट इज दीड ऑफ ऑफ द वैल्यू दैट यू विल क्रिएट इज दीड सो वी शुड नेवर फॉर गेट दैट आइडिया द क्वेश्चन द क्यूरोसिटी and the initial phase of discovery is very critical if that thing is not there the sapling will not grow once the sapling comes out it can be made into a tree with lot of gifts fruit will come out crop will come out so <coughs> the important thing is not to stop questioning first to pucho teacher bhi agar kahe gaya yaar itne kuch question kyun puchte ho par most teachers are happy A teacher who knows the subject will be very happy when you ask question. Of course, they will say we can discuss five minutes after the class, etc., etc. But asking the right question is important. You know, let me tell you something which is uh, very, very valuable. I wish it was told to me when I was in school. It was not told. It was that people have done a survey. So, sir, people have done a survey and found out that Nobel Prize winners. Who in our mind are gods? No, they are human beings. Only thing they were great discoveries. They are not only the great discoveries, but these people ask questions. They have they have done some survey. The most creative scientists. Let's not say just normal people. Most creative scientists sometimes ask questions which school के बच्चे पूछते हैं जैसे और वो उसे शर्माते नहीं हैं. एक तो कॉन्फिडेंट होते हैं एक उनके अंदर से जो चाह होती है जानने की वो इतनी प्रबल होती है प्रबल अच्छा हिंदी में हो जाए इतनी प्रबल होती है <laughs> आज का विवाद बोलने का अच्छी बात है तो उनमें इतनी तीव्र होती है इतनी इंटेंस होती है तो वो रह नहीं पाते हमारे ऐसे स्टूडेंट होते हैं टीचर गैस होती है साथ वाला गैस होतेगा ऐसा नहीं होता आज सर क्वेश्चन You you don't have to necessarily ask ask the the question in class. You can ask the question in in class. can follow it up from Google, from Google, library, and that is their discovery starts. Or ho sakta, nine out of ten questions will not take you anywhere. But this whole habit and attitude of asking questions, respecting questions, answering questions. Suppose a teacher says, "I don't know the answer to this." This is not a failure of the teacher. This is admission that I don't know. And then teacher says. I do not know. Can this class five people bring answers to it tomorrow and we will discuss? Teacher, do we find it? Will students come and help? But question to ask is very important. That is where discovery comes. Like a, like they say, you know, Newton was sitting and the apple fell down. I don't know whether it happened or not, but he must have asked basic questions. Otherwise, we we take everything for granted. That's a cue, isn't it? For example, C. B. Raman might have asked when he was a kid, "Is sky blue? Why is it?" 
Actually, I used to ask that question also of my parents. Ke dood to dies. Ghaasto hari hoti hai. Dood so bhi kyun? Except that is a stupid question. But it's a question which if you follow up in the the biochemistry of lactation. Okay. <laughs> So when you want to take a recipe to a product or menu, in a lot of on the left hand side you have science as it is practiced in this college, university, laboratories. Please pay attention. You ask, you pick up a problem, when there is curiosity, you 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 ask yourself, this is a problem in society. Can we solve it? Then you ask some questions. How do we solve it? What is known? What is known? What is not known? Etc. Like a detective, you chase it. This is the usual stuff of science. And then you do experiments, observations, underlying mechanism, and elucidation of phenomena. Then what comes out? Publications come out, patents come out, and potentially, if you get a business partner, products may come out. This will take a lot of time and a lot of money. This also takes money. But the amount of money that you require here, is 10 to 1000 times more than the money you require here. Okay, converting a recipe which is successful in your home into a restaurant requires 10 to 1000 times of investment. That's very acceptable, no? logical. That is how it happens there also. So I come to my own little bit of experiences which I will share with you. I was in CSIR since 1991. In Intech Institute of Microbial Technology, yes. that is a institute devoted to microbial work. My own background was like many, many things. I worked in protein structure, biochemistry, medical, worked on hemoglobin. So by the time I came and became a faculty member, I had the advantage when I look back of being jack of many things. And I wanted to become master of something, which is difficult. But jack of many things is also very important. Jack of being many things is very important. If I'm a pure chemist and I look at only, let's say, benzene like molecules, I'm an expert in that area. But I will make discoveries only when my fundamentals are very good in many things. I can talk to a physicist, I can, I may not know NMR, but I should know where NMR is required. I may know, I may, I may not know animal studies, but I should be in a, you know, with a sense scale, this stage cube is with drug development can make you potential. Okay. So you have, your jack of many things will allow you to communicate with the right experts and bring all that experts together for solving it. This is very nice. So science is multidisciplinary. I am very good at making dosa rules. So I will continue to make a dosa. I will become the world famous dosa expert. But if you want to have that multidisciplinary, you have to talk to many other people. So therefore, in science and value creation, you have to be aware of all the things that go into development of science, initial stages as well as later stages. So I, uh, since I was interested in proteins, we, our uh, <clears throat> research council told that there is a problem. The institute has been working for five, six years on developing technology for Clot busters. Clot busters are proteins and enzymes which are given, which are injected in human beings when there is a heart attack or stroke. How many people know what a heart attack is? Only one person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is not of their concern. No? Maybe Charlie's people are scared of heart attack. So heart attack is when a clot forms in the body and obstructs the blood flow to the heart. Heart is very necessary, no? it keeps on pumping thousands of times per day, I think, maybe a week, millions of times over a life, lifetime. And the pump is gone, within three minutes, death is. So if a clot goes there, suppose in your sewage system or plumbing, there is some blood uh, that obstruct the nerves. Things will be in chaos. So you need to either put something to clean it or acid. So there is a clot buster which you inject and the clot is dissolved. So that clot buster technology was not there in India. 
people are not making it. We're talking about 1980s and 90s. And we said we'll get the technology. We'll make the technology. But if you see the hotbeds of heart attacks and cardiac problems is India, parts of Africa. Here people have solved this. Not a problem because they are expensive technology. If somebody gets a heart attack, they wheel them into a hospital, put stents, and do bypass, etc. Which in India also they do. But how many people have access to it? So they also have clot busters. One clot buster called tissue plasma is an activator, which is a state of the art clot buster, which was there at that time also. It was produced by Genentech and other companies that genetically degree. Costed $1,000 per wire. How many people can, can afford a $1,000 wire? Practically zero. Maybe some rich people will do. Today, more people are, will be able to do. But streptokines had been there for about 8 10 years, which also cost five 6,000 rupees. It was derived from bacterial fermentation. Okay. And it also cost 5,000 rupees. 30 years ago, 5,000 rupees was like 30, 40,000, 25, 30,000 of today. So it was very important to have at least some clot busters, affordable clot busters for Indian public. Please try to see that three out of five cardiac patients in the world are from India. And the effect of on GDP, cardiac problems, is tremendous. It is about 1.3% of our GDP is affected by heart attacks. So this is a major problem. Just as infection diseases are a major problem, etc. That this is a major problem. This is a major problem. It's a number one killer. I will just go through. So you know there are five thousand rupees for streptokine is other than forty thousand rupees for TPI. So TPI technology is much more complicated because it is produced from animal cell culture. We thought we'll go and clone streptokine. Or we develop the bacterial fermentation. Not this has been done, I think, in this country several times. But the challenge was to take the lab work to industrial scale. You give a process. See, suppose you make something in your kitchen. The restaurant may not make it like that. A factory that wants to produce ten thousand parathas per day and give it all over. We use different technology. It will use machine. It will use some more additives. Etc. Et mm -hmm. so technology must scale up. It's not the technology which you use with very small scale. So there's a challenge in it. Anyway, we were able to make it um, the first spectrokinase in this country within about five years of the project, which was a long time, but it took us some time to do it. This first spectrokinase was launched in 2001, I think, 2001 by Cadillac. And the prices of all streptokines fell down. Something that used to cost 5,000 because these people, we gave them technology by which they could produce this at 5, 600 rupees. And they could market it at about 2,500. Now it's less or more, I don't know. A lot of it is imported also because, but the prices came down. And then after a few years, we also developed, whole group developed, recombinant stuff. We brought the technology also to greater rate. So basically, then we started out and asked questions: Can we make, can we convert streptokinase into a smarter molecule which will target the growth? Streptokinase does not target. Streptokinase activates the whole system. And there are side effects. Can we make a loaded missile which will go to the clot and act? So we were able to do that and get patents. So we basically made natural streptokinase for fermentation, recombinant streptokinase, clot-specific, targeted. And antithrombotic clot busters, etc. So these are all patented. This only has a process patent. This has no patent. This was old technology, but we, the key to making these two technologies were improvement of fermentation and then recombinant streptokinase, which was required optimization of expression for some other people that you understand, some may understand. And the idea that this. Lederle was making streptokinase, Lederle is an international company, by using eight or ten steps of purification. We made it into a two-step process. So in two steps, you make it more economical. Okay. So the idea here is that you can either improve the economics of a production of a drug, or you can make a new drug, or a modified drug, which is better and smart. All of this is worthy of taking patients. So as a result, Institute of CSR got 
fair amount of royalty also out of these products, but more than royalty, the number of lives it saved. If suppose, hypothetically, if every year, let's say 50 lakh people die, and if you give a clot buster, a portable clot buster, and out of 50 lakh, 30 lakh people are saved, just have a What is the value of the contribution? The number of years that person could not earn, but his life was saved, and the number of, the amount of money that person could earn and his family could survive on it. So this is very solid social ramification. So that is called the economic impact analysis. Okay. The economic impact of this technology was estimated. These are 2011 figures, not 2023 figures, but 30,000 crores. So this technology gave a value of 30,000 crores contribution in GDP. The amount of value it gave by price reduction was only a small component. The number of people's lives saved was the contribution. When I saw this figure, I actually didn't believe it. As a scientist, you don't know these things, you know. So when I, when my director general at that time called me after that he had done economic impact grief, and the amount is coming to about 30,000 crores. So what, what? Then he told me that there is the life saved, etc. Then he sent me the paper also before it was. So that is a very important thing. Tomorrow you will just do something via patent which improves the process of a drug. Somebody makes money out of it, no? but lives are saved, quality of life is improved. So that is all value creation. This is the power of science. Just imagine Burlogs varieties when they came here. We had famines, we used to have famines. Bihar ka famine, Bengal ka famine, famines all over. When these varieties came, our Indian government, I just want to tell you, higher up people in the Indian government said that this technology is not going to be in the nation. It is not going to be in the nation. It is not going to be in And then a lot of people, middle class people, they should say, after this technology came, it is not going to be in the nation. It is not going to be in the nation. That will be true. But this army को खाना नहीं मिलता उसमें तो लाल लाल कलर भी ठीक है उसमें तो जाल वरदान है वो आपको फर्क नहीं आप कहते हैं लाल कलर की खाने में तो अच्छी नहीं लगती थोड़ी स्वाद नहीं तो सवेर खानी है आप खाओ आप भगवान ने आपके ऊपर बड़ी वर्षा की हुई है कि आपके पैसे हैं दो पैसे पर जो गरीब आदमी जरा रोटी नहीं मिलती उसको उसके लिए तो आप लाल कलर भी ठीक है एंड टुडे नोबडी इज डाइंग लार्जली नोबडी इज डाइंग और फादर इज कंट्री हाउ डिड इट कम अबाउट बिकॉज ऑफ द डिसीजन in times of Lal Bahadur Shastri. Some of you may still young, but uh, there's nobody like my age here. But in 1965, 1965 when he had born in Pakistan, Lal Bahadur Shastri appealed to the people to take a fast one day. Because there was not enough food, you know? And food was being, we were begging for food from America under a scheme called PL 480. So at that time, Mrs. Gandhi, and most more than Mrs. Gandhi, see Subramanian. M. S. Swaminathan, the scientist bureaucrat, C. Subramaniam, a minister, very aware minister, they have set up a program. Then Punjab Agriculture University, these people got the varieties, modified it, optimized it, then the farmers could disseminate here also. And then, slowly, 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 when I was a kid, that made a point which is Charles Bokhari and Haki Dili, Dili will see the Dipo Summit Prao Jagadaja. Because my mom was a teacher and my father was transferred somewhere. Chaloji, Uho, Yao, so it's got no father who went to Rotra Sikhe or to his road, the same way. Okay, I'm to Bachatunika, both related. I ask you to after the heaven, do the communion here. What transformed it? Not patents. Application of technology across the board and business models for success. So therefore, technology requires not only generation of new information, not only creation of seeds of technology expressed in patents, but also business models and implementation models by which the technology becomes useful for everyone. 
So patrons are necessary. Patrons like Bhagavad Gita. Roast Vesha Bhagavad Gita ki parts karo. Or Bakhi Ustay Ratan koi na karo to aapko ko saada nahi hai. Aap agar Bhagavad Gita ke parts ko sunke kuch karte ho. Aapko khayda ho gaya. Par aap kehte ki saare mohde ko khayda ho. Mein saare mohde ko khayda karo ho. Bhagavad Gita patrons jo liya ho. Bhagavad Gita ne diya ho. So kaise karo ho. Sata aadmi to aapke asa bhai dar lag jayenge. Aap ne thika lewa ke hamare ko. Bhagavad Gita ne thika lewa. So that is the challenge when you want to disseminate. So government has to disseminate. Commercial organization has to disseminate. So this whole game we should understand. When you are sitting here, push up to you, you should tell me, "Yar, ye kabi ye bhajan khatam hoga." I am happy that you are saying bhajan is not khatam hoga. We are going to go to the bar. We are going to go to the bar. Okay, think about it. But you should also think that you will become a scientist. You will become a journalist. So, what is the role of the patients? What is the role of the technology? What is the role of science? What is the role of science? आप सोच सकते हो मुझे पेटर्मिनेटर में बोले लेना देना मैं तो किरासी डेवलप कर दूंगा या कभी मेरे मन में बड़े क्वेश्चन हैं मैं उसको फॉलो कर दूंगा फिर आपकी मम्मी कहेगी कि तुमने अपनी सिलेबस पंडी बंद कर दी है मैं किरासी नहीं फॉलो कर रही हूँ मैं अपनी किरासी नहीं फॉलो कर रही तो आपकी मम्मी कहेंगी किरा� so the mother said, how will the number come? So how will the number come? Look, you are going to go to IT. You are going to go to Pipeline. You are going to go to Pipeline. You are going to go to Pipeline. You are not going to go to Pipeline. You are going to go to Pipeline. Because when you are going to go to Pipeline, तो हो सकता है जब फ्यूचर में आपके अपने बच्चे होंगे उनको भी बोलोगे किरोसिन किरोसिन उनके चक्कर नहीं है नंबर दे दे बस तो ये आपने डिसीजन ले लिया और मैं आपसे सिर्फ साझा ये कर रहा हूँ कि जिंदगी में बहुत अपॉर्चुनिटीज आएं बहुत अपॉर्चुनिटीज आएं आज जो आपके सामने अपॉर्चुनिटी है अपने में को पहचानो कि आपके अंदर अंदर की आवाज क्या कहती है अगर आपकी अंदर की आवाज कहती है मुझे एमबीए करना है ठीक है एमबीए करो अगर आपकी अंदर की आवाज कहती है मुझे तो सिर्फ फॉर एग्जांपल मुझे तो सिर्फ मैथमेटिक्स ही अच्छा लगता है काफी सब्जेक्ट नहीं अच्छा लगता पीछे पड़ जा किसी को उसके पीछे पड़ जाओ क्योंकि जब तक किसी चीज के पीछे नहीं पड़ोगे कुछ भी चीज हो जिंदगी में नहीं मिलेगी ऐसे अल्लाह से लॉटरी निकल गई किसी उसका फायदा नहीं होगा बहुत मजदूरों की लॉटरी निकलती है तलाह हो जाती है तो कल आपकी लॉटरी निकल गई तो कुछ फायदा नहीं है जो चीज आपने दिन के अंदर कुछ थोड़ा सा पागल पर जब तक नहीं आया तब तक मजा नहीं है जिंदगी का तो आपको भगवान ने ये परिस्थितियां दी हुई हैं जिसमें आप एक अच्छे कॉलेज में पढ़ रहे हैं अच्छे टीचरों के साथ हैं कभी कभी कुछ सिर्फ लेक्चर भी आ जाता है मेरे जैसा पर उसके बावजूद आपको एक अपॉर्चुनिटी दी हुई है जब आपके पास बहुत सारे रास्ते साइंस एक रास्ता है साइंस बहुत जबरदस्त रास्ता है क्योंकि इसमें ट्रूथ है बिकॉज़ इट इज़ दी वन ऑफ़ द डिसिप्लिन्स विच फॉलोस ट्रूथ इट डज़ नॉट टॉलरेट नॉन ट्रूथ बाकी पॉलिटिक्स में तो ट्रूथ कहीं कहीं निकलता है ज़्यादा तो मॉडिफाइड ट्रूथ ही निकलता है उसके अपने रिक्वायरमेंट्स डिटेक्शन है उसमें आपको बड़े तरीके से आपको ट्रूथ देना पड़ता है कहानी बहुत कहानियां डालनी पड़ती है पर साइंस में आपका अनऑलराइट ट्रूथ आता है पर ट्रूथ कैसे आएगा जब तक आप प्रश्न नहीं पूछो जब तक आप टेक्निक नहीं पूछो तो बस इतना ही मेरे को कहना था मैं तो आपसे अगर कोई दोचार प्रश्न है तो एक रास्ता फर्स्ट टाइम दिखाओ और पर एरो वाटर टेक एनी मोर टाइम तो आई हैव अ शॉर्टेज ऑफ टाइम यस तो थैंक यू वेरी मच तो थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर दिस इनलाइटनिंग और and we must all applaud your immense contribution to the world of science, especially in the medical industry. I'm sure our students are very happy today. And now I would like to invite Ms. Jaspreet to propose a vote of thanks. Thanks, Dr. Hanson. Good morning, everyone present. It's an honor to thank our eminent speaker, Dr. Gary Sani, on behalf of Resonance Club Department of Chemistry. In this era of startups and entrepreneurship, the understanding of intellectual property rights has become very significant. 
and sudden and light turned us in this direction. So made us aware about different types of patents, their applications, and how can we use the technology for public good. So explain how it's difficult to reap the benefits of innovation unless we have uniform laws and rules of patents. I hope this talk will surely have a meaningful impact on our students yeah. and will give them a broader perspective on the topic of patents. So thanks again for accepting our invite and placing the video. And I would also like to thank our principal sir, Dr. Ajay Sharma, for being a continuous support and encouraging us for conducting such events. Thanks. Sir. So our honorable principal, Dr. Ajay Sharma, has joined us. We are very honored to have you with us, sir, today. And may I request you, sir, to please give a token of gratitude to our esteemed keynote speaker, Dr. Girish Sahani, as a takeaway memory of the event. Very good. So may I ask uh, Dr. Dr. Sony and Dr. Gertambi to join me? Yeah. 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 I would like to once again to please okay. give a green welcome to Dr. Anand Sir. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. So may I please request to say a few words? Dr. Garish Sarma, Dr. Anand Sharma, Dr. Anil, Dr. Chandan, my faculty member and dear student. You know, every topic has its own way of explanation also, expressions also, and implications. I remember when I joined this college in 2000, I got the paper to teach in MSc or BSc for an IPI. And I was a little hesitant on that day because I never read the same article. But naturally, whatever you are getting, and it was largely on the laws, laws of IPI or so. And then it was introduction MSc ideas on that year, and IPI again was the paper. And sooner we started with entrepreneurship in commerce fertility. And my department said, you leave every other thing and now start teaching IPR and entrepreneurship all. So two, three years, I started teaching entrepreneurship IPR in BCA, in BGDCA, in MSc and everything. And one day I had a big fight in my department. department. <laughs> and after that, I got my four papers back and I left that. But today I'm realizing probably I made the mistake. It was a field I could have done something else also. But you know, when we used to teach the IPR, our angle was certainly accounting, our angle was commercialization. Our angle was to have intellectual property rights from the point of view of goodwill, brand image. It was more from the point of view that you can uh, have a patent on a copyright of IPR and then how to encash that in the market. So somewhere when Professor Girish was talking about commercialization, everything I just reminded of what he was saying. It is a interdisciplinary areas, the same topics can be expressed by different persons from the different angles. But having Dr. Anand today with you, I understand he will be in a position to express this angle from industrial point of view also. Just a month earlier, we were having the in the same uh, seminar on uh, similar topic from Thai. 
Thai Air Station with the uh, Chandigarh Management Air Station. And their topic was that those scientists are doing a number of things, but they are not giving us help in commercializing. And they were talking about how we can fill this gap between the academia and industry. Uh, and number of academicians at that time was talking about the research outputs and they were talking about how we are unable to use that, how we are unable to capitalize that. So today, because your panel is having the mix of scientists, management professionals or so, hopefully all of you will be gaining a lot. And I'm thankful not only to the speakers, even to the organizers who are regularly organizing such programs uh, for your benefit. Uh, you may not be realizing, but persons of my age knew earlier we used to have only slavery, earlier we used to have only classroom teaching. Hardly during our graduation, one or two seminars or workshops were organized. But today you can find out that everyone is making the efforts that beyond curriculum, we should be in a position to train you, provide you skills as per the market demand. Though I know there are a number of more things to be done, but certainly it's a happy moment for administrator like me when all faculty members are trying and students are also participating in different such programs. So thanks to the residents yes. of the chemistry department. And uh, hopefully this session will be uh, a great work for you. Please note the important points make the points. Uh, simply listening to things are not sufficient from students. So when you are having the copies and pen with these, use them. You will get a number of things. You will never get the same in the books. Thank you, Dr. Girish and all the speakers for all the program. Thanks.